coralline algae growth is beautiful and the coralline algae growth is the purple colouring or the purple covering of the rock and that signifies that everything's going well in your aquarium. If on the other hand your live rock is going green that means that you have too much phosphate in your aquarium. If your um, level is going white it might mean that your water quality is not right, maybe your calcium level is not high enough, potentially your magnesium level is not high enough. So the colour that your rock should be is this lovely purple. Now if the rock is not purple, the main thing that will usually make it go purple is by increasing your magnesium level, that will often help, and lowering your phosphate level. Now there are many products on the market that claim to get rid of phosphate, but the one that I personally have the most success with is Ultimate Aquacare's Phosphate Remover, which is this one. And I put it on a dosing system, and that doses five mil a day. And then if I don't have the lovely coralline algae, I just dial that up. If I do have it, then I tend to dial it down according to my phosphate level. The same for making sure I've got good calcium, making sure I have nice high alkalinity, make sure my magnesium is right, if you don't have a dosing system, it's just up to you to supplement. Um, the, the nitrate and phosphate remover would be good daily, and the um, the other major elements would be fine weekly. More often is better. So basically, getting coralline algae is really no mystery. It is really just a matter of ensuring that your levels are elevated enough, and ensuring that your phosphate levels are low enough, and if you are not getting the good coralline algae just review the products that you're keeping particularly in regards to phosphate remover and then you make a change and it does take several weeks or months in order for the coralline algae to appear if you are having trouble getting your coralline algae to appear then feel free to um, send us an email to shop at majesticaquariums.com.au and I will be, and send us a video of your tank running with your water tests and what additives you add, and I'll see if I can help you out. Because getting coral and algae really is the aim of a healthy, thriving reef aquarium, and low phosphate and ensuring your magnesium is high are the two main things that really make a difference.